After 13 seasons, uh, part of Major League Soccer as a player, uh, had many discussions with my wife and family this year, and uh, I always knew that the time was coming. Uh, I believe I've extended my shelf life uh, as far as it could go. And uh, it's time for me to start something new in life. And uh, I always knew this day would come, like with time, uh, things catch up with you. If you do something for so long, and now, I mean, I've been playing professionally for 13 years, but I've been doing this for 30 years of my life. Uh, and I think that was the biggest scare for me was, what am I gonna do now, you know? No matter what's offered to me, but how am I, I played soccer for 30 years, that's all I've known. If I sat out for most of the injuries or knocks that I, that I had, that I should have sat out for, I mean, uh, this, I, I might be making this announcement at 16, 17 years, you know? I have no regret for that at all, you know? I, I, it took a lot to get me off the field because I never thought my position was guaranteed. And I think that's important for a lot of, a lot of young players to, to think about is that, you know, the minute you know and think that your position is guaranteed, that's when you start taking, you know, casualties and shortcuts and things, you know, you know, think you get away with things. Uh, I never did, so I never wanted to be out. You know, if I had an injury, I would fight my way through it and try to be on it. But unfortunately now, these things are, uh, are paying for that. You know, I've resigned myself to the fact that in, within 10, 15 years, I'll probably be hobbling around the backyard. That means a lot to me that I, that I played through a lot and I, and I just always wanted to be on the field. I was raw and naive enough when I first got here in 98 to think that I could spend the rest of my entire career in New York, be that, you know, that one of those few guys in the world who spend, you know, 13, 14 years the same organization. Um, once uh, I found out the hard way that that wasn't going to happen, uh, I always had in the back of my mind, you know, is, of course I want to come back here and, and finish my career. Uh, and I lost a little bit. Um, when I left that day, but coming back, uh, things like that don't don't always happen for people. What they want, you know, it's exactly what I wanted, and uh, for it to actually happen was I couldn't believe it. Starting uh, in '98 with Timmy Howard, who was my roommate for the five years I was here, uh, I still have a strong relationship with him, and he's someone who's gone on and done unbelievable things. Uh, Clint Mathis, guys that many fans right now may not know, Mark Semioli, Red Hardy, guys who took me under their wing that I've tried to do with certain players like Tim, uh, Tim Ream this year, uh, that I'm forever grateful to them. The guys that I play with now, like Carlos Mendez, another Long Island guy, um, Chris Albright, um, drawing a mind blank right now, getting me, getting me wound up here. How I want to be remembered, uh, I'd want to be remembered how everybody chooses to remember me, whether that's I was a bad player, I was a good player, I was a good guy, I was a horrible guy. Uh, to me, it doesn't matter, you know? Uh, however somebody chooses to remember me or, or, or think of me over my last 13 years is, uh, is on them, you know? And, and I'm sure there'll be varying thoughts, you know? Wide range of thoughts. But um, I had uh, made some great friends over the last 13 years. I had some unbelievable memories. Uh, fortunate enough to do some good things. And, uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to move, to put it behind me and move on to something else.